Hi, beautiful people. I sure hope you're doing well today. My name is Tina, and I am going to read to you something that I recently wrote in hopes to inspire you, to uplift you, to help you to see what God sees in you. All right. The name of this poem is You Are Enough. Have you ever felt like you did your best, but your best wasn't good enough? And therefore, you felt like you weren't enough. You fell short on that steep winding and rocky road that leads to destiny. So you had to take a detour down the valley of the shadow of distress. And boy, you feared all that evil coming at you on the left and on the right, above and beneath. You tried so hard to get back on the narrow path. You prayed, you toiled, you cried, you fought with all your might. You were praising God with hands lifted high in church all this time. But you were still being crushed beneath the unbearable and cumulative load of unhealed trauma, offense, sorrow, and pain. The violent storms and the raging seas took you to a place you never wanted to be. You wondered if you would ever make it back to the right road again. The victorious road that leads to destiny. The road that leads to more than enough. If this resonates with you, you're not alone. I know that dark valley oh so well. The longer I stayed, the more hopeless I became because I couldn't see any way out. I realized that my limited strength was not enough to pull me out of the valley of despair. I didn't have what it took to set myself free. But let me tell you about a man who met me in that valley. A man I thought I already knew. A man teeming with loving kindness and tender mercies. A man full of amazing grace for me. A man with pierced hands and the purest heart took my filthy ash-filled hands. He didn't wipe my tears away. Instead, he shared in my sorrow, tears mingling with mine. He wept with me. He rescued me. I collapsed in his arms from all the weight I had been trying so hard to bear for oh so long. I finally found the rest I needed in its stable and strong arms of love. All I had to give him was a heavy load covered in ashes. So he took it and somehow made beauty out of it. He made beauty out of me. The one who was never good enough, smart enough, pretty enough. He showed me as he looked into my tired blood red eyes that I was enough. I was seen by him and heard by him. I was accepted, cherished, and loved by him. His life-changing love replaced my sorrow and stress with a garment of praise. His love renewed my mind and mended my shattered heart. I finally found rest for my weary soul. There was joy in his presence, peace in his presence. I had hope again. But no longer was my hope found in myself or others. It was no longer found in making it back to the right road again. My hope was found in Christ alone. So now, when I feel like my best isn't good enough, and I find myself in that dark valley yet again, I am assured I am never alone, and neither are you. We have the word within us to light the path before us so we can find our way back to that secret place that peaceful place in God's presence where we are always enough you are enough in the eyes of God for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son you are a part of the world that he loved so much that he gave his only begotten son that if we believe in him we will not perish but have everlasting life with him and while we're in the land of the living 
He wants us to have everlasting life with him here in the now. So let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for who you are. I pray, Heavenly Father, that each and every person under the sound of my voice would feel your presence, God, that they would feel your love, that you would breathe your breath of life, your Ruach, within them, God, that they will rest in you and find hope in you, God, knowing that you hear them and you see their every tear and you weep with them because you love them with an everlasting love, God. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for meeting their every need according to your riches and glory. I thank you, Lord, for comforting them right now and helping them to see that they are enough because they belong to you. I thank you, Lord, for the victory in their lives, for helping them to take the best next step on their journey with you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I love you all. I pray that you all have a wonderful day. And remember, you are enough.